Hello guys, welcome back to Linux Daily. Today's video, I will be showing you my top 5 things to do after installing elementary OS. First thing we want to do is head on over to the terminal and update our system. We do that by typing in sudo apt update. Provide our very secure password and it will update the system. This will allow you to install some software that needs the latest update. Alright, we have 345 packages that need to be upgraded. So I'm going to type in sudo apt upgrade. This will take a while being 345 packages. So I'll just cut the video and it's asking me do you want to continue? I'm going to click yes and at this point I'm going to cut the video and get back to you when it is done. Alright guys, next on the list is install LibreOffice. We do that by typing in sudo apt install Libre L-I-B-R-E Office. Very secure password and it is installed. We could verify that by going over here and under Office, and there we are. There's our LibreOffice. It does not come pre installed with Elementary. That was number two. Number three is install the Chromium browser. By default, Elementary OS comes pre installed with the Epiphany browser. Take a quick look at that. It is not my favorite browser by no means. It's very buggy in my opinion. So I'm going to go ahead and install Chromium. sudo apt install Chromium. Oh, okay. I forgot. It's Chromium dash browser. There we go. Sorry about that. This is um an open source version of Google Chrome, pretty much. It looks almost exactly the same. I will take a quick look at that once it is installed. Now it's installing, you got them downloading up here. It's gonna take it. Okay, there it goes. It's done. Okay, it's done, so I'm going to go over here and Chromium Web Browser. Click on that. I don't know what's going on, why it's not opening. It was just there. The virtual machine is being a bit buggy today. Oh well, let's move on to number four. Customize the terminal. So that's not a hard process. I'm going to begin by installing screen fetch. It looks like, um, Chromium open up back there. I mentioned screen fetch that utility in a different video. I believe it was the budgie video. So that's what screen fetch is. This is a little program that does that. Okay, I don't want that. get that out of here all right so I'm gonna type in nano dot bash RC this is your configuration file for the batch shell when you open up your terminal it goes through this script so at the very end here under the ESAC this is where you could uh define your custom aliases or your functions or commands that you want to run every time you open up a terminal 
So I'm going to type in screen fetch right there, as I just did. And then I'm also going to define a few aliases. So alias, and then I'm going to do update. I'm going to have that equal quote sudo apt update and then sudo apt upgrade I'm also going to have one for install I'm going to do package install set that equal to sudo apt install so you can type in package install and it'll run this and then anything you type after it will install that package I'm also going to give myself a nice friendly message. And then you control X to exit and then you want to save your changes with Y and hit enter. Exit out of the terminal and when you get back it opens up, defines the aliases and then prints little message so when you do package install it runs the sudo apt install command I didn't specify anything after that but if we did like w3m it will try to install it I already have it installed for some reason alright that was customizing the terminal you can do more with the aliases or more functions but for right now you have a general understanding and now last but not least number five which is elementary tweaks you gotta install that you have to install it with a PPA so to enable PPAs you want to do sudo apt git install software dash properties dash common you want to hit enter when it asks you want to continue and it's going to install that package all right after that is complete you want to do sudo apt um, I mean sudo add dash apt dash repository PPA colon Philip dot Scott slash elementary tweaks. And then enter. Then you want to update. then package install elementary tweaks once that is finished installing I'll show you how to do a little bit of uh, other things with it oops alright here's that chromium in the settings then you get your tweaks right here pick your icon theme I usually have it on Ubuntu and everything's right there just makes it look clean everything's all in one space pick different fonts animations that's just about it that's all I got for you for this episode if you have a digital you want me to check out leave it in the comments other than that have a great rest of your day